This is an electric solar system that I built for a mountain cabin up near Allen's Park, Colorado. This uh, was a back end of a truck. It's actually a truck box and I dug into the bank and then buried it into the bank. Uh, don't try this at home. It was, sounded like a good idea when I started, but it, the, even just that little bit of dirt on there is so heavy that it nearly caved in the top and I had to reinforce it with some pretty heavy beams. But inside there are the batteries and all the controls for the solar system that works for the house that's just across on the other side of that hill. So come on in, let's look, and I'll show you kind of how that got here set up. The, here's the battery bank on this side, uh, and what I did was I made a wall in between the battery bank and anything that could potentially cause a spark on the other side of the wall. So it's essentially uh, protected in that way, and then this is a vent pipe so that the air can vent out and draw any gases out that could potentially be dangerous. I'm not sure that would ever happen, but I just did it because it made me feel better. And over on this side is where all the controllers are. This is the inverter, and then this was an outlet that worked on uh, the, the, uh, the, the smaller 12 volt system. All the controls that tell you what it was charging, how much it was charging, and then everything, that, all the wiring and everything that leads to the house and the, the uh, controllers are over on this side. So it automatically switched from the grid side to the solar side if it needed to. So let's go up on the top and I'll show you the solar panels and we can look across and look at the house here. Here we are on the outside and over here is the top of that little uh, truck box that we were in. You can see the vent on the top of it. And over here are the solar panels. There was a, there's a wire that runs down and goes into that box from up here. So these are the solar panels and as you can see there's only four of them, four grid solar panels. And that was enough to charge those batteries and run the entire house. We had everything in the house that you would have in a normal mountain cabin, refrigerator, the all the lights, the TV, entertainment center, everything was run from here. So uh, there's nothing really complicated about this part of it at all. There's just a little box back here where all of the, the solar panels tie into one lead and then that lead runs down the hill to the, the I don't know, capacity box, whatever it is, the control shed. Let's come over the hill and look so at So this is the house that was run entirely by that solar system. It's a two bedroom, one bath house up in the beautiful mountains above Allen's Park, Colorado. And you can see we had TV, dish, everything is there that you would have in any home. The only difference is it cost us absolutely nothing to, for energy to live here.